Afternoon everybody. So even with the amount of deletions and stuff I've done on my hard drive, I still am pretty dang low on space and uh, it takes a lot of time to transfer stuff so I haven't really had the time. So we're going to keep this pretty short. We're going to give you another walkthrough of the dream garden and before we do that, uh, let's show you guys what we got going on. Oops, I just saw a bird take off from the uh, um uh what is it <laughs> cannot think of words bird bath i just saw a bird take off from the bird bath down there uh, i want to show you guys the field around me here's a lot of the natural wildflowers and i don't know if you can see it but we got some tree swallows um flying around it's a gorgeous day out um just uh the field is going to be cut in a couple of uh, weeks probably to maybe a month um, but it's like until then folks check out all the all the blooms of the uh, I think it's purple clover So we have some white clover. We have some um, uh, Different forms of wildflowers and of course weeds. I admit weeds are there. So um, We got that going on folks um, hopefully um, This is gonna come up correctly this time uh, I uh, I'm doing this off of YouTube and on my tablet first and then uploading it to YouTube so hopefully the angle it comes out better this time and we'll show you guys some of the stuff that maybe got missed last time when everything was a little lopsided <laughs> uh, everything's doing pretty good folks uh, here's some of the plants I'm still got left to get in there's one big plant right there missing we'll talk about that in a minute uh, still be wow it's just gonna come up amazingly well this year uh, still be uh, I think it's going to be a pink color, if I remember correctly. Um, the good old Canadian uh, columbine here is doing amazingly well still. Uh, new blossoms all the time. Um, all right. And like I said, folks, check out the check out the clover I've got here. It's great. I want to introduce some of this to my uh, friend Chunky Jeffrey and his wife's, um, well, not just their garden, but their whole back lawn. And so the thing is, is that I want to do that soon. Now, here's something interesting, guys. Here is my, um, uh, what is it, hyssop and stuff. And I found a lot of my stuff had holes in it. Well, slugs. We've been, we're in a dry spell up here, and somehow I still managed to get slugs on my stuff. You know why, folks? Because I water my flowers regularly. And so it's just, they're actually wet enough that the slugs are coming out and eating the leaves. Well, we took care of that today. Also, we've got a nasty little thing of Japanese beetles or the larvae stage of Japanese beetles because uh, they haven't fully formed those colorful little shells of theirs. But I know Japanese beetles when I see them because of the way they're multiplying and breeding and stuff. So we've got them. So I had to spray some of my plants down, my Iceland poppies, which we'll look at. I had to spray those down today with a... Uh, a triple fungicide, insecticide, miticide stuff because it's the only thing I really had to kill little buggers. Here, folks, is my lavender, my um, English lavender. Smells gorgeous. Mm. Um, friend Chris Dowell of Roots of the Land suggested that. Um, the hydrangea back there is going by. The butterfly bush is doubling in size all the time. We, we should have something on it soon, and I'll be more than happy to show you guys more of that when we do. Um, not much else out of the Red Hot Pokers over there. Um, and then let's see if we can make up for last time, guys. Here is the Blazing Star that I got in last time. Uh, everything just got a good watering, folks. And this thing is, wow, it's responding amazingly well. Um, I just planted another one of the Astros, as I call them. Uh, next to the other one it's looking pretty spiff. Let's take a nice look folks and see if we got a better angle of this than we did last time The Sun is bright as crap out here, but hopefully it won't bother anything too much Okay, I gotta hold the camera with I mean excuse me I gotta hold the tablet without blocking the camera like I did a second ago, but here's what we're looking at guys uh, Hopefully you can see it a lot better this time than you could last time um, The uh, Dianthus here check it out guys um, let me see if I can get uh, right here. Sorry guys, it's hard to see out here because of the sun glaring off my tablet. Right there, uh, right there, new blossoms. And 
get off my thing you stupid bugs I'm gonna have to spray this one down too apparently because when they couldn't get the other ones they moved on to this it's the early stages of Japanese beetles folks I know I know those little buggers when I see them because they crawl in all over everything now here's the poppies and stuff guys not as gorgeous looking as they were last time they're coming by but they've got more blossoms coming up right here um, and this one's doing much better than I thought it would where it's out way too much in the Sun and it hasn't been much clouds it's been nothing but bright Sun killing us all practically get off me you horsefly um, this one's doing really well guys this Iceland poppy coming in mostly orange but it's got new blossoms already I'm very excited about that um, the lemongrass and Japanese cherry blossom have doing really good just gave them a good weeding this thing folks it's got so many leaves on it I think it'll do amazingly well where it didn't get any blossoms it doubled up on leaves which means it will probably do really really good now I think my new I think that truck that's slowing down is my new shed showing up wouldn't surprise me it's almost five o'clock so we might have to cut this quicker than I thought coral bells are doing pretty good guys like I said got sprayed down got a good water look at that guys they're already starting to turn color and then here we go, guys. Uh, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. The Wigala. Uh, it's like it's, uh, it's pronounced differently, but it's kind of like tomato tomato between gardeners. Um, I just got this in. This is gonna be uh, a big centerpiece for my hedge line, guys, that I have here. So I got a big hedge line going on, guys. As you know, tree over there is doing really good. It's growing new bark. Yes. From where the mouse ate it over the winter uh, long story guys but the hedge line here is doing really good folks um and one last one guys before i gotta go entertain the boys that are dropping off the shed um here is the pineapple sage guys right next to the butterfly weed and it smells amazing i i had a leaf in my hand earlier it smells amazing we're putting it over here because it's good at attracting hummingbirds, much like the salvia here, which is doing good. So, um, you know, I can't tell if those are going to grow into weeds or not, but we'll find out soon enough. But the salvia is doing good. And this stuff over here, which is all good for attracting butterflies and stuff, doing really well. Well, there's my new shed guys showing up that my folks bought me. I have to go entertain the gentlemen that are going to be unloading it and make a phone call. So I will end this early, and I will see you guys on the next broadcast. Peace out.